three sources for principle one, mission and vision. First, the client persona worksheet. This will help you identify who your ideal client is, your niche, your target, whatever you'd like to call it. You can have multiple of these and that's okay. What the worksheet will do is it'll help you identify who this person, this group is, how you can target them, how you can market toward them. If you've worked with them before, if you are working with them, this information should be a little bit easier to come by. If you've worked with them in the past or targeting a new group, a new niche, or looking to branch out, you're gonna to wanna to do some market research, see what works, what doesn't, uh, talk to your clients, talk to your prospects, and build these accordingly. Your target ideal client will change, so these worksheets will be helpful moving forward. Next is one of my absolute favorite activities called the LATL activity. LATL stands for love, automate, delegate, limit, and elim eliminate. So what you want to do is have two to three bullets under each letter. So two or three things you love in your business, two or three things you automate, delegate, uh, limit, and eliminate. And it can be things that you are doing, should be doing, want to work toward. Uh, for the love category, sometimes it's love and things you just can't get off of your plate. So the idea here is to spend more time doing the things that you'd like to do, that you're good at, and then utilize leverage resources, whether on your team, contract work, brokerage, uh, whatever, bring somebody in. That might make sense uh, for other activities that you don't want to or should not be doing. Uh, same with your mission, values, and vision worksheet. This is just a good place to get all that information together. You can put it on your wall, put it on your home screen, your phone, wherever you're looking at, uh, so you always have it front and center, that foundation of your business. The mission, again, why you do what you do, your values, what's important to you, the vision, your direction for your company, and so forth. Same with your value proposition, unique selling proposition. I've included my values here because it is my true north, my foundation. Collaboration, accountability, drive, excellence, and trust. That is the uh, founding principles for all of my engagements with my clients as well as all of my courses here. I keep it front and center because it's important to me. It's what I value in working with my real estate clients, my coaching clients, uh, my legal clients. The SMART goals template. I'll say it multiple times in this course. I don't love the SMART acronym. I don't think you need all five all the time but it is one of the best and most simplest tools when creating uh, goals that uh, you're trying to work toward. So specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. Again, you don't need each one. It's a little hokey, but they are good for, uh, for goal setting. So that way you can answer the ones that are relevant to you. You're smart. You run a good business. You run a successful business. You know which ones to use. Uh, use the template accordingly. And then lastly, on each of the resource pages, I'll have a quarterly business assessment uh, for multiple reasons. One, this is something that you should constantly update, check, make sure that it matches the principle. So there are questions for each of our five principles today in that assessment, but you'll find that the answers might change over time. You'll find that you want to add questions, uh, update questions, change the wording to questions. So revisit that quarterly. The mission and vision section specifically will be intertwined with the other four principles. So make sure that you uh, you answer them honestly and that uh, you review them regularly, ideally quarterly, so you have a strong foundation and it supports the things that you are doing, you want to do, uh, and helps you reach the clients that you most want to work with.